Hello Sycamore and happy Tuesday, January 17th. Welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Harper. And hi, I'm Savannah. We hope you had a great four day weekend. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far. Now let's all please stand with our hand over our heart and all honor us to join our amazing country and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is a new semester. I am so excited for all my new classes. A few old crew members have stayed, but we have a new crew. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. All right, don't forget the Gear Forum, the 20th Annual Student to Student Gear Forum, is on Wednesday, January 25th from 7 to 830 at Sycamore High School. Junior high students, this is your chance to hear from, directly from a panel of high-flying aviators about their high school experience. The topics that range from academics, testing, clubs, activities, athletics, traditional versus innovation lab options, and more. This is open to all students, grades 6 through 9, and their parents. That is on Wednesday, January 25th from 7 to 8.30 at Sycamore High School. Register at sycamoregear.org. Partners Club, your next meeting is going to be Wednesday, January 18th, after school in the Media Center until 4 o'clock. Prepare, come prepared to have some friendly competition and a delicious snack. Remember, we can't go to Perfect North anymore, but we're looking for a fun field trip. So if you have suggestions, fill out the form on Google Classroom. The code is VNP2AOR. It's right there. New members are always being accepted, so we hope to see you there. Hey guys, you guys see Murray, the service dog around school? Remember, Murray is working, all right? So he likes people, but you can't come and pet him or you can't come and mess with him while he is working, okay? And if he's wearing his bandana, all right? And you got to ask Luke first if you can pet Murray, all right? And last but not least, got a little trophy here. Exciting news from our robotics teams. They did amazing work this weekend. Competing against 23 other 7th and 8th, 7th through 12th grade teams from the state of Ohio, are a, consisting of junior high and state world qualifying high school teams, our rookie 7th graders in the first time ever tournament earned the Judges Award trophy. That's it right here. Our 8th grade team placed 3rd out of 23 teams over many high school level teams for the higher level motivation award category. The next team competition is in two weeks. Come support our robotics teams. January 28th at Walnut Hills. Spectators arrive around 10 a.m. Sycamore parents, Coach Hartley and Coach Jarvis are very proud of your accomplishments. Congratulations, robotics team. That's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to all our students who celebrated over the weekend. Ronald V, Jordan F, Mateo M, Jonas G, Elise W, Madeline M, Jonathan F, and celebrating today is Kieran S, Gary P, and Jackson D. And staff member, Ms. Ramotka, have a wonderful, awesome, magnificent Who Day birthday. Now over to our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. It gives me great pleasure to introduce this week's Athletes of the Week. So our first athlete of the week, come on over, is Emma Sprang. And Emma is a on the swim team. All right, and this is what uh, Emma's coach has to say about her. This year she has kicked her training into high gear and she is showing incredible improvement. She's only missed two practices as far this season. She is a hard worker during every practice and she's one of the leaders at those practices. She is getting confidence to challenge herself and not hold back. She has continuously lowered her times in the events that she swims. At our meet versus Wyoming this past week, she dropped 19 seconds off her 500 freestyle time. That's a great job. All right. So we're so excited to see major time drops at the championships. All right. So keep challenging yourself, Emma. You're doing well, and we're very proud of you. So congratulations. There's your write-up, and there's your certificate. All right. Our next athlete of the week is also from the swim team, and it is Colin McAllister. And Colin has been a dedicated member of our team for two years. His commitment and willingness to listen, attend practice, and his work ethic have earned him this honor. Mm -hmm. His performances far so, so far this season have been consistent, and we're noticing some time drops. Colin's efforts will definitely show even more as we reach the end of our season at the championship meet. So congratulations to Colin. There's your write-up, and there's your certificate. All right. <clears throat> 
Excuse me, our last athlete of the week is from our diving team, Janie Rowland. All right, Janie is a first-year diver on our swim and dive team. She comes to every practice eager to learn and improve her technique. She's known for conquering her fears and attempting new dives, even if it results in a smack. Wham! It happens. Janie is a busy lady and spends her time between the barn and the pool. What are you doing in a barn? Oh, it's probably horses. All right. Even with a busy schedule, she's committed to her team and shows up ready to dive. She's made incredible improvements this season and grown to love the sport of diving. So congratulations to Janie. So there's your write-up and there's your certificate. And there are Athletes of the Week. All right. Thanks, Athletes of the Week, and congratulations. I think it's time to, for an update, but first, okay, here are the results. As you can see, option number seven won by 26.9%, which is this. I mean, if that's what you want, Sycamore, our next survey will be a scarf, and then our snowman will be complete. See you soon. Bye. for jokes. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pen? Hmm, why? Because it's pointless. <laughs> ah! Oh my! <laughs> that left the mark. Get it? <laughs> yes, I get it. Yeah, the Bengals narrowly defeated the Ravens this weekend. Yeah. Who did? From the 98 with a 98-yard touchdown from Sam Hubbard, setting a new record. Go Sam! Yeah. 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 I didn't even look at Sam Hubbard in our school. Who day? Yeah. yeah. High school spirit was shown on Thursday. Who day? Uh, uh. Go, Go Bengals! Go Bengals! Yeah!